What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today is more of a brainstorming idea. So, I've had this idea over the weekend, I wanted to share it with you guys to see if it's actually something you guys would actually want to see, or not. So it's a, talking about a video series in general, and uh, we'll jump into it here in a second. I want to show you some images of what I made, and then talk about the specifics of it, but I think it would be an awesome content like series we could basically do in this channel that we could do multiple times over so let's jump right into it So essentially what my game plan here is to get two different accounts here and we're probably going to have some help from some other people because the biggest thing is it needs to be on an account that doesn't have like every single star spawn without having to regress them. We want accounts that don't have guild tech because as you guys know, I mean, with the new galactic tree, these star spawn give a ton of fixed stats, like a ridiculous amount of fixed stats and no two accounts have the same, same thing. We're going to want to do this entire idea without pets. And lastly, we're going to want to do everything without guild tech as well, even though it's percentage based. I guess guild tech is the least important one so long as there's no secondary guild tech the second there's secondary guild tech That's where it gets a little bit iffy But what the game plan is is to get two different accounts with every single five star in the game Well to be more specific every five star that is ten star bowl that way we can pull them from chess and things like that uh, chances are the accounts we're going to be using are not going to be able to get the basic five or I should say the non natural five star heroes, but they are going to be able to get all the natural five stars. So we need to get two different accounts and I think it's a total of like 85, 86 heroes in the game. So we're going to take everybody from shadow, everybody from fortress, everybody from abyss, forest dark even including like da stuff like that again not these other five stars all the light heroes and we're gonna leave out the five star transcendent because i feel like that would be a little bit too much to ask plus i just feel like the five star transcendence would just still be way way too powerful like way too powerful so i don't want to include them whatsoever kind of take them out of the equation and yeah essentially what the game plan is going to be is to take them to level 100 no gear so like essentially we're gonna have this hero here we have level 100 we're gonna have no gear no stone we're gonna leave it locked and no artifact and that's it so they are bare bones so you got level 100 five stars no guild tech no star spawn no monsters no buffs whatsoever and what are we gonna do well let's talk about the actual bracket situation so essentially, this is kind of how it would work out. This is half of the bracket, of course. We'll have two different halves that come together and then have a face-off towards the end. This one right here uh, is kind of the example. So because there's not an exact right number of heroes, some heroes will get first round buys. And we're going to leave that completely up to randomness. I mean, you'll see here, Walter got to buy at seat number two. But then at the same time, you got someone like uh, like Fiona or Ada having to fight their way through the combat through extra battles. So essentially what I was thinking, the way we would do these brackets is day one of the new quote unquote season. I would post a bracket then people in the comment section would be able to guess who they think would be the final winner between both brackets both come together there's a head-to-head -head fight much like our ida that we have in game except this is just going to be for five star level 100 heroes with no buffs so essentially each one of these brackets here so for example asmodel versus karim i mean we all know asmodel versus karim who's going to win at least we think we do um you never know but essentially what we'll do is do a best of seven matchup between the two accounts that i have the winner moves on the loser is just out single elimination no double elimination no anything like that now the one thing i need opinions on though is do we alternate which account is the attacking account or do we just do i just flip a coin and then that's the account that gets to attack i think that's the way i want to do it is that's the account 
because otherwise recording it is going to get really messy swapping between accounts back and forth making sure i mean it's tedious so i think what i'll do is i'll just you know if i flip a coin all right karim's account wins so karim's always going to be attacking and then we do a best of seven karim versus asmdel whoever wins the best of seven moves on to face garuda so on and so forth so essentially we'd kind of break this down into like probably four or five videos for a quote unquote season of this the first one would be like the first batches right here then we move on to the second third and then probably fourth would be like you know the top 16 ish something like that all the way up to the top two then what we would do is we would jump over to the other bracket or the other thing I'm considering is what we could do because this is the other bracket that we have right here with uh, with all the other heroes going on. We got Gusta, Penny, Aiden, a lot of bad ones game up in this one that I generated. Uh, we could do everybody in like the first round on both brackets and then move forward. So it's like a whole staging thing and I can update you guys with what the bracket looks like. But again, there's only going to be like a two day period on the initial video showing the brackets and talking about them that you would be able to guess who you think is going to win. Because if you wait too long, then the guessing is not going to be great. And what we're going to do is if you have a comment with the winner at the final end, we're going to be doing a giveaway for that hero essentially so i'll have to filter out the comments or rather i'll probably have to turn comments off at a certain point on that video and then turn them back on when i do the giveaway because then we could get a much better accurate representation otherwise people could just jump on the day before the final recording and be like well there's only two heroes i got a 50 50 chance to get it right for a giveaway i don't know what do you guys think do you think that's something that would be pretty cool i think some of the some of the heroes would probably be a little bit of an upset though i don't know who would actually win because you got to remember these are five star heroes they don't have all their abilities a lot of them don't have even like their heal abilities on a lot of them like dantalian i don't think dantalian gets his heal for quite a bit actually i think he's got to be in the stars I know there's a couple heroes like that so this could be really really interesting and then of course we got at the very bottom it's kind of cut off bleaker is going up against bade so that would be an interesting matchup i mean honestly i think bade has a fighting chance to win at something like this but you never know you can see some things like king barton coming out in the win i just realized i spelt it king bargon <laughs> but let me know what you guys think so give me your honest opinion and also give me any input that you think would make the bracket system better. So I'm going to try to find a really nice bracket maker that or I might just make a custom one specifically made for idle heroes just so it looks really, really cool. The problem is just doing the randomization and setting it up to look good. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a nice clean bracket and not every tournament will include every hero. That could be something spicy, too, because it could be like, oh, there's just one hero that always wins. But there's a chance they don't even get picked for the bracket this time that could be good as well we could pick like the top what like 48 64 no you gotta do i gotta figure out what the bracket size are i think you want to do like 64 teams I think i'll figure that out because maybe that's something we could do and not include every single hero every time make it more like a lottery and i mean one time carrie might not be involved another time ada might not another time walter might not that way it gives even more variety to it so it's not like this one hero overpowering because i'd love to do this like multiple times and make this like the go-to giveaway on our account or not on our account on our, on our youtube account yeah youtube channel but let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one i try to